Today's video is brought to you by Turkish Airlines. How many of you have ever had the issue of your puppy or dog biting at the leash. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to teach your dog to not bite on the leash. Now, this is a super common habit with really young dogs in particular, but this habit can go well into adulthood if it goes unchecked. It's quite simple to do, and I'm gonna show you how with Luna, the six-month-old Border Collie. There are lots of suggestions out there as to how to deal with this. Uh, one of the more popular ones is spraying some type of gimmicky pet product on the leash to make it taste bad, or to use a metal leash instead of a uh, cloth leash or nylon on leash, we don't need to look for shortcuts. So we want to get out of that mindset. The best, most authentic dog training occurs when we teach our dog to think. Plus, this improves overall communication between us and our dogs. And when we have that, we can do anything we want with them. Walk. Now, this is normal. A dog looks at this as a toy. They don't know that a leash is designed to keep them safe. They might just think it's a toy. So we want to discourage this. Now, the easiest and quickest way to do this, you should be using treats in general with your training in the beginning anyway, so you should have them on you on a walk. Usually a dog who's doing this will find great satisfaction by you pulling the leash or trying to pry it out of their mouth. They'll simply think you're joining in the game. Remember, tug of war is a very instinctive game for a dog to play, and there are plenty of places for tug of war to really benefit your training, but this isn't one of them. The first thing we want to do is interrupt the behavior. You can see she's really into this right now. Now, I've got Turkey over here, okay? I'm going to break her attention. Hey, what's this? But I'm not going to reward for that because I don't want her to think I'm rewarding her for tugging on the leash. I'm going to ask her to sit and she knows a basic stay. Very good. If you don't know how to teach your dog to stay, you can see the description of this video. The reason I'm asking Luna to sit and stay is because I've worked with her for a little bit and I know that she's likely to get into training mode uh, by asking her to do that. That'll get her in the mood to learn a new concept. Uh, this could be as simple though as asking your dog to look at you, for example, if you've taught them that. However, if you haven't really done any basic or really initial beginner training with your dog, you're not ready to teach them this. Now I'm gonna to attempt to take a walk, but I'm anticipating. I know that she's likely to try and bite the leash again. That's normal. If she tried to do it a moment ago, she'll probably try and do it again. So we're gonna walk. Good girl, and actually she didn't bite the leash there, so I'm gonna reward her and let her know that I like that behavior. Come on, girl, let's go, yes. Good, come on, over here, keep walking. Yes, good, nice work. And right now I'm just walking back and forth, but I'm watching her. I'm, I'm anticipating the fact that she might do it. I'm not just gonna assume that it's fixed because she did it once. Never do we train a behavior in one fell swoop. You know, we train it in little bits and we have to be consistent over time. Once you feel like your dog is getting this basic concept, it's time to up the difficulty level a little bit. We wanna interrupt their thought process the moment they think about biting the leash. Wherever you can set up training exercises, you're going to be much better off because that means you are in a position to give all of your attention to your dog. Let the emphasis of all of your training be on yes, not no. Up here, look at me. And I've already taught her watch me so I can get that attention onto me. Watch me or look at me is a vital skill. You can see the description of this video if your dog doesn't know how to look at you when you ask. Okay, now she's, now she's going at it again. So I've got to interrupt the behavior. I can use the treat. Uh-uh, sit, yes. Good girl, I'm just giving her a tiny bit of turkey there. Nice work. Yes, good, did you see that? I was able to wiggle the leash, she's learning. Uh, it's okay to be proactive like this and set your dog up so that you can teach them. Leave this alone. Good, what is that? Yes, good, you're doing great. This way you're able to catch the behavior right before it occurs. It's always ideal to correct these types of things right before they occur, rather than waiting for the unwanted behavior to occur and then correct it. If you can communicate to your dog that you like, that they are not biting on the leash, rather than waiting for full on tug of war to break out, that is 10 times more effective than correcting them after the behavior occurs. I'm making it tempting, uh-uh, leave it alone. And look at that, she learned so fast. Luna is just perfect. I think if she was a person, she would be an elite athlete. Speaking of which, have you guys seen the latest Turkish Airlines commercial? It is an epic face-off with Kobe and Messi. These guys are two talented athletes. Uh, really entertaining commercial. If you have not seen it, you can either click the annotation here on the screen or check the description of this video, but it is a must-see. Let me know what you think of it. The best type of teaching happens when you teach from the inside outwards. Teach your dogs to think and you'll have great Great success. Hey, like me on Facebook too, facebook.com slash the Zach George. If this video was helpful, make sure you click thumbs up and tell me if your dog had this problem when they were a puppy in the comments below or if you're dealing with it right now. Always looking for new suggestions for new videos. You can tell me that in the comments below as well. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.